A lot of people have been curious about how I used to tell time back in the day. Well, I've got a braille watch right here. So 12 has three dots, three, six, and nine each have just two, and then the rest of them have one dot between the three, six, nine, and 12, right? And then you can feel the hands. There's the big hand over here and the little hand over here. So I would say that it's about 10 to three. Were there other types of braille watches? Yeah, there were other, I had a big pocket watch and that one's really cool. And it's just, you know, larger than this, that's all. It's just bigger around. The thing about these that was a problem for me was your fingers had to be very, very clean to use it or else whatever was on your fingers would get inside and then stop the watch and it'd be broken and you know, it'd only be right twice a day. <laughs> and then came this thing. And this thing sort of replaced the watch. I mean, you know, I can just hit the button on the bottom here. 10.25 PM. Plus when I'm on the laptop, I have that set up to tell me the top of every hour anyway. So I use this weird voice on it. It's like, it's 11 o'clock. This voice called Zarvox, I love it. I don't do anything else with it, but man, it can tell me the time every hour. It's tremendous. 